with you. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the tippy top of my game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them past me. Today, man, we got a special, special, special guest. Triple OG, OG, triple OG. The you one know, and only. One and only straight out of Brooklyn. You know, uh, if you know, you know about, he played on a, uh, it was a special, not only street ball team, but pro-am team, Buckwild. If you know, you know. You know, shout out to my man, DJ. Yes. Uh, and also, you know, he is known to some of us as Biz, but you might know him as the original, original half man, half amazing. Give it up. The only. The only, the original. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. We're sitting Appreciate with the GOAT that. right now, man. What yes, up, bro? Yes, sir. What's Appreciate good, you man? having me, man. Everything's good, man. That's Appreciate good, it. man. That's good. The, the first question we like asking everybody is, what park you rep? You know, I know down south they get hot, so guys don't play outside. They play in the gym, but I know here in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you from Brooklyn. What park you rep? Well, uh, my main park that I grew up playing ball in is uh, Pier 256. Okay. Which is also the elementary school I went to. It's on uh, Lafayette, between Marcy and Nostrum, right across the street from Tompkins Park, which is now Herbert Von King Park. Okay, you know, okay. So Dope. That's why, you know, that's why I earned my bones, so to speak, in that park right there. So Dope. I rep 256. Dope. And I know you, I, I've seen back in the days you put in work and soul in the hole. In the hole. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, you put in work all over yeah. New York. I ain't going to even say that, but I know, you know, down in the hole, you put in work. You know, mm -hmm. i seen you play everywhere from from whether it's the Pro-Ams, whether it's West Forth, whether it's here, whether it's there. But, I, you know, i seen you get busy everywhere. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's uh, great to have a legend, Triple OG Absolutely. here. You know, who really put in that work. Yeah. Yo, another round of applause, work. man. Another round of applause. Work. Yes, sir. Biz, you still playing, right? Yeah, I still play. I still play. Um, oh, I play shit. in uh, 40 and over in uh, East New York. And I uh, play in, uh, what is it? I think it's 38 and over. My man Darby up in Harlem. And I play in uh, 50 and over in the BRC in Brownsville. What them stats looking like? Uh, W's. That's all I want. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking, talking about. That's it. Man. I don't, I don't, that's I'm it. not worried about the. Oh, and I saw we win. every year y'all go to the uh that Masters tournament and y'all bring yeah, that Masters chip home. Yeah, the Masters Basketball Association. Yeah, we, bring uh, that chip back. We every... uh two time champs down in Florida. We lost yeah. the third one. We went for the three peat early this year. But we lost, and then we went out to uh Indiana about two months ago and we won the championship out there. In Shout out to Naptown. Yeah, that's my so, hometown. Oh, oh yeah, I'm from the nap. That's what's up, man. <laughs> man nap whack though. I, I nap feel you. Town. Brooklyn home. I'm talking about no damn nap town. Get out of here with that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hating, bro. I'm not at all. Not at all. You know, I know this is big for my man Rise because you know Rise. You know, y'all when he came on tour and you know knowing y'all Rise was Rise was a young boy, so you know Rise you know played you know was on the tour with some of y'all and you know kind of. Grew up under y'all, so this is big, you know, a big moment for him as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah that's you a little know. bro right there, man. Yes, sir. I love my life, man. Love yeah, him man. Life. Yes, sir. Biz always looked out for me, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Always from day one, man. We just, you know, me and Roz clicked automatically. He was he became my little brother once we once we linked up. So where y'all meet at? Shoot, if I told you that right now, I'd be making something up. Yeah, <laughs> when I met Roz, Roz was young. Yeah, you know, I, I used to a teenager when I met you. Yep. So it's about yeah, it's, sixteen. Yeah, it's, it's probably somewhere in the Midwest, somewhere we met. Mm -hmm. But uh, just we was at a game and his vertical was just crazy. We just like, yo, who is this kid? Yeah, y'all listening, right? Y'all listening, right? <laughs> He's speaking yeah. facts. You no, know, just just messing around on the layup line. You know, you know, I had a little bit of bounce too, so you know, I thought I could do a little <laughs> something. So, you know, I stopped turning around. I see this cat. He's just throwing it up in the air, just catching it. And I mean, not going at the rim, straight up. He's just catching mm -hmm. it, just, <clears throat> just throwing it down in the rim. So I'm like, okay, we got some things we got to do today because this boy, like, he can go. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and sure enough, he could. And yeah. after that, it just became organic. We just clicked after that. Yeah. Be go ahead. No, be before we get to, you know, the, the them tour stories, which I know you want to ask about, <laughs> I want to know, where did that, when they introduced you on the tour, 
the dance, and the fall on the floor. Where did that come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? Because that Classic, get bro. me every time. <laughs> nah, that's uh, that, that's something I, I pulled out from my from my childhood uh -huh. um, with my homeboys on the block. We had um we had a court on the block. We used to play on the sidewalk up against a uh, old factory we put up there, and we would play ball. You know, back in the days, cars would have these systems banging coming down the street, or we have our box sitting outside. And if a car would come through playing something we like, for some reason, you know, we just started dancing. I'd do a dance. <laughs> then my man would drop the ball. He'd do a dance and throw it back at me. And every time we just started battling it, and it just became something we did on the block just to make ourselves laugh for entertainment purposes. And when uh, And One came about and they started talking about doing intros and everything, that that was just like the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> Let me show him, show him, you know, how I could do a little something other than play ball, you know. Let me show him I could do a little two-step or something. <laughs> to add to that, a lot of people don't know when Biz did the intro. Mm -hmm. So we'll circle around Biz, right, in the middle of the floor, towards the end. Biz will go down. You remember Biz, go down, shake, look at everybody. Mm -hmm. So the person he look at the longest usually end up shutting the game down. They had the most points. Mm -hmm. So he did that to everybody. So for all, on the tour, everybody he shook at went for like 30 or 40 that game. Left off that. legend. I never knew that. <laughs> so, so that was, that was you knew I, you knew you was going to get busy if he, if he do the shake to you. Me and Circus. Shout out to Circus. Me and Fred. Shout out to Circus. <laughs> we used to sit and laugh and talk about that shit for days. <laughs> for days. Shook, shook it, um, shook it circus, and that was the game he yammed on S. God rest his, oh, God yeah. rest the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Listen, man, it's wow. the OG right here, man. Mr. This Yo, big man. bro, man. Wow. Was, you know, strictly for entertainment purposes, having fun I'm with my guys. <laughs> you know, That's let dope. the crowd see what's going on. We not just ball players. We, you know, we regular dudes like to have fun, just like y'all. That's, That's it. But so, right now, we got some ass to crack. That's dope. So, how did you? get on to the tour and first get started with the mixtape tour? Um, I was playing up at uh, Rucker with Maine, and at that time, Reebok had did a sponsorship, or they were trying to, and that fell through. They were up there for a little while, and then And One came in, and they were doing uh, the T-shirts for our All-Star games every summer. And then they were trying to do a long-term sponsorship with uh, Greg Marius, God mm -hmm. bless the dead. Shout out bless to Greg. Greg. Shout out to Greg. You know, so uh, I don't I don't know how that side went to it, but right before a game that we had up there, main event came. He came to me. He's like, "Yo, talking to Ann one, got some things going on. I get back to you." Then a few minutes later, headache came and told me the same thing. Then after the game, uh, man explained to me he was talking to Ann one. They wanted to do a, a tour to help promote the brand. And they wanted to grab a couple of guys, and if he knew some guys. That could play, and he asked me if I wanted to get down. I was like, sure, why not? Because Maine and Shane was the first guys to put me on in terms of going on the road to play. You know, and I went up to town and started playing uptown. They needed somebody, and they was like, yo, we go to North Carolina. We got a game that you want to come? Why not? So that was my first link to going on the road was Maine and Shane. So once they asked me about this, you know, in the words of the great poet, Al Qaeda Jada, you know, these are dudes I've been doing it for whatever. You know, I've been doing it with him forever, so I'm like, whatever. So what? you was actually one of the first, the first, yeah, what yeah. was it, what was it, first I'm, seven? Five, yeah, first, first seven. seven. It was, the original seven was Maine, Shane, Aircraft, Headache, Future, uh, I'll Be Right Back, yep. and myself. Mm -hmm. But I'll Be Right Back, ended up going to school, he went to Albany State, did his thing up there. Things didn't work out with Future after a while, and, and after that, that's when AO came in. Yep. And AO filled in that blank. What year is this? This is, I want to say, 2000. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About 2000. So right after 99, after that, that. Yeah, right after that first that time. That first tape. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's dope, man. That's dope. So, man, tell us, you know, you got some tours, some stories. Yeah. You know, What's we want your memories. You know, if, if, we got if, a lot of them. Yeah, I'm sure you got a lot of them, but, you know, if you. I feel yeah. like before we get into that, man, like the controversy with your name, that's what kind of pisses me off because you're the original. 
So mm. I feel like we got to kind of clear that up. Like you just said, he's yeah, well, an original mixtape player. He's the original half no, man, half amazing. And, and I remember that commercial. Yes. When they was in the limo. Yeah. And he said, oh, when you come to the hood. When you come to the hood. Things change. <laughs> <laughs> things change when things you come change, to the hood. Baby. So but Yeah. Um, from my perspective, there was never any controversy to clear up. I always knew who I was. And that's I what I like to wasn't. hear. Yeah. Vince ain't never been me. Yep. I ain't never been Vince. His yep. name is Vince Carter. Vince Sanity. Yep. Perfect. That's it. We can go to the next one. Now we can go to the tour, so tour, tour stories. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That cleared that up for me. It's never been no controversy for me. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that that was kind of crazy. You know, and that was like I said, when I saw that commercial, when you were saying, yo, when you come to the hood, mm-hmm. things change. Things change, yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah, was real. True. That was yeah. real. That's true. And that was the that was the mixtape way, like. On yeah. tour, that's just all they preach. We you go into the hood, it's totally different. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we yeah. kind of appreciate it. I'm sure half a agree playing in the hood than in the arenas because it was yeah. it was more it was authentic. Right, yeah. it was when you, real. When, you, when you, know? you go to the hood and you go to the park, you even though you may have a reputation for the most part, cats don't care who you are. Oh, no, nope. they really don't care who you are. They just want to know: Can you ball? Okay, you can ball. I'm going at you. Facts. If you can't ball. I'm killing you. It's gonna be a long day for you. And that's that's pretty much what it is. That's what we was talking about. That you know? New York had a whole different attitude where you might go to other cities and oh, that's such and such. They see you coming to park in New York, that's like you said. It. I'm about to get my name yeah. off of you. Yep. That's it. Oh, what? Okay, all right. Yep. We're gonna rock it. Yep. Let me see what you really got. Yeah. And like you I know? said, I think too, with Brooklyn cats, Brooklyn cats used to go play everywhere. <laughs> they used to go play everywhere. Wherever it was, Brooklyn was there all the time. Oh, who's here? Oh, that might be bitch. Oh, you can hear the chair moving? Oh, yeah, oh that's back. why I was yeah. like, what was the L? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and that was my big thing that guys from Brooklyn, I used to see guys play everywhere, whether it was uptown, Queen. And for some reason, dudes from everywhere else did, I don't know if they were scared to come to Brooklyn. I don't know what it was. But yeah, dude, yeah. You know, <laughs> Dudes didn't want to come to Brooklyn. It was a crazy mystique about Brooklyn. Still to this day, man. You know, cats always had a thing about coming to Brooklyn. But wherever it was at, Brooklyn, Brooklyn dudes cats. was there. Regardless man. of where, it would, let me know what time, where it's going to be at, I'll be there. You know, and me, myself, I, I never had a problem with it. I yeah. went to the five boroughs most of the time by myself. Wherever the game was, I'll meet you there. You know, so I always went there. But Brooklyn was always the place where cats had second thoughts about coming to play. Yeah. Unless <laughs> unless they knew somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, let me, let me call my man. Make sure I'll be good when I get down there. All right, and I'll come there. <laughs> if yeah. not, I don't know if I'm coming, man. You know, I got, you know, my dog lost a toenail or something <laughs> like that. You know, they'll come up with something. You yeah. know, the cats really had an issue with coming to Brooklyn. Yeah. For oh, yeah. a good reason, too. It was a lot of good. Pl- I know me originally coming here from Texas, me and my man Raj, uh, the first summer league we played in, first of all, it was outdoors. And we were just like, what? We playing outside? It was high energy. Oh. Back in the day. Yes. And I didn't know a lot of these guys on my team. I found out later, you know, by watching them, Junie was on my team. Junie. Corey Williams, uh, this kid, Chris Skyers. Um, who else, man? But it was it was like I had never seen anything like Junie them before, man. Like what? For, like I said, first of all, I was blown away that we was playing outside, mm-hmm. you know, and that was the thing about it. But then I guess just that whole vibe, man, and that whole Brooklyn vibe, it was crazy, man. And high energy. If you don't know, back in the days, high energy, high was energy crazy was, back yeah. in the days. High school and college level, man. Man, yeah. I know that and the thing hurt. about back in those days, good basketball players were everywhere, Every, oh. bro. God, you couldn't. You would leave one park tired. You go to the next park. You see them cats balling. They amp you up to want to play some more. You know, you you want to go home, but you end up staying in the park because the competition is crazy. Yeah, everywhere in Brooklyn back in those days. But nowadays, these young kids, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they have one or two good games. They think they the man. They call it a social day. media. I killed over here, man. I don't got to play back here no more. You're bugging. What you talking about? 
That was today. What about tomorrow? What about <laughs> next week? What about next month? What about next summer? <laughs> Got to be a consistency to busting ass. Yeah. Can't just do it once or twice, man. We're going gonna, we gonna, we gonna to get to that question later. About yeah, I already that, know. Yeah, so, I mean, go ahead, Roz, about the, you, you know. So, Biz, it's, it's a lot of memorable <laughs> times on tour. Indeed. One of my favorites, we'll mention it later, one of my favorites, you was in my hometown. You remember the game winner, winner tour in Beantown. You hit the game. <laughs> game winner. Bless. God bless. God. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you sure did. But what is some of your... What's one of your favorite moments, and if you have a list of them on tour, just in, in general? Because there's so many. I hate to ask that question that way. Yeah. But. Oh, man. They could be funny ones, too. Them the ones I'm yeah, waiting on. Um, well, y'all, y'all, y'all spoke on the Australia story, so, I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll expound on that a little bit. Please later. do. But um, I got another story that involves me, Maine, and Shane. We were... Um, we was in Italy. So, uh, you know, we're trying to find some smoke, right? <laughs> so uh, I don't I don't know who found out who had it, but uh, they gave us directions on where to go. So uh, maybe a couple hours before the game, we're going to bag this up real quick, and we're going to come back. So uh, we took a cab over there. We had to go big old house. Walked in the yard, big front yard, big old tree in the front. It's dark in the front. I, was like, I don't know about this. So we go knock on the door. This little old lady, <laughs> West Indian lady, comes to the door. Like she likes like a witch. So we all look at each other. It's like, um, you know, we, such and such sent us here. She's like, come, come. So we come inside. <laughs> She walks in the back. She go in the room, no lights on and nothing in the room. Old black and white TV, look like an old horror movie scene where they got the old <laughs> school TVs. So I'm like, man, listen, if I hear one thing or something move that ain't supposed to move, I'm out. I don't know where y'all gonna be, but y'all gonna be behind me, <laughs> right? So it's about uh, maybe three or four pair of bunk beds in the room. So she goes, sits down on this little chair, pulls out these two, like, cement uh, barrels. She pulls them out, big plastic cement barrels. She opens them up. She digging in there. She pulls out the product. So, oh, she got it. Okay, we in business. Let's do this. So we get it. Everything's straight. The minute everything is straight, remember those three, four bunk beds I told you about? All of them had rule boys in there. They all sat up at the same time with them things. Damn. Cadence. We grabbed, we had, we looked, we was like. <laughs> set up. Oh, she letting us know that it wasn't going to go down in here today. Thank you, young lady. All right. See you later. We was out. <laughs> they sat, they rose up like zombies. All in sync. Just to let us know that if it was gonna go down, y'all was gonna lose. Wow. I was like, all right, no doubt. But it was some good smoke, though. <laughs> good ass smoke. Better no be. Front. Good ass smoke. Yo. But yeah, that was crazy. That's crazy. S smoker, smoker, smoker bus teammate, baby. You don't remember the smoker oh, bus, baby. No, you don't remember the smoke. <laughs> I remember the smoker bus, baby. Who was on the smoker bus? Man, it's me. This cat right here, Maine, Shane, uh, Ock, yep. when he felt like it. Yep. And Fong. Yep. And, and, and uh God bless his dad, Flash. Flash. Mm -hmm. God I slept bless. over his book. And TJ was on there too. Yeah, and TJ. <laughs> to blow that bus down, man. Smoker's <laughs> bus. Had to have a cold to get on our bus. Shane. <laughs> Shout out to Circus. So we had our magazines with everybody in them. Shane would cut Circus out and write, there's no more smoke for you and, and stick the shit in the window. <laughs> so he couldn't get in there. Yo, crazy. It's wild. It was fun, man. That's crazy. What country got the best weed? What place got the best weed? 
Man, I gotta say, uh, probably Canada. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. it's Toronto. Guys. No, I, gotta, I gotta say Canada, man. It ain't no getting around that. They got that pretty stuff up there. But you know, I, I ain't gonna sleep on um, not country, but a city that gets slept on a lot. Portland. Hell yeah. I vouch for that, bitch. Yeah. It was just out there, yeah. Portland don't get a lot of love in terms of that, but Portland got some fire. And that shit legal out there, too. Yes, indeed. Seattle also. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Thundercat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, man, you got, you got any more stories? Any more tour stories? I know you said you want to kind of expound on the whole, uh, what was that? Uh, the Australia The Australia joint. story. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much uh, Shane told you. Take it from the top, bro. Well, but, uh, well I can tell you, he, the only part he told about us that you know, at the time y'all was fighting, and uh, <laughs> he, he said that you kind of disappeared, and I, I guess because uh, had a lady friend. All right, well, uh, <laughs> had a lady <laughs> friend. <laughs> nah, I, 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 you know, I, I'll take it from the top. I'll take it from the top. <laughs> All right, so uh, coming to this. I, bar lounge spot we come into we had a guy that was uh in australia taking us around town to show us some of the spots so we took us to this one spot so we walk in there and you know out of town is everybody take a look see who you are so we go straight to the bar we standing at the bar you know waiting to order some drinks so we you know keep looking around we notice this one group of dudes they keep staring at us the fuck these dudes looking at Turn around again, they still looking at us. It's like, all right, let's just relax. So uh, this lady comes over, this young lady comes over. She's like, hi, how you doing? We know you guys not from around here. You know, the usual introduction stuff. So we're like, yeah, you know, we in town, we got a basketball game. She's like, oh. So I think Maine, I think it was Maine. He was like, yo, what's up with them dudes over there? Why they keep looking at us? She was like, oh, y'all are new faces. They trying to figure out who you are. All right, cool. So, uh, Maine goes in the bathroom, and a couple of the guys go in the bathroom behind her, but Maine was in the stall, so they didn't know he was in there. So they kind of talking a little crazy in there. So Maine comes out the bathroom, he's like, yo, have, I think it's going down, B. I think it's going to go down. <laughs> oh, what? All right, so I start taking my stuff off. So uh, a couple of dudes go back in the bathroom, Maine goes in behind them. Now they talking real reckless. Mm. Man comes back out. It's going down. <laughs> All right. They come out the bathroom. We face off a little bit. Start talking. Next thing you know, fists start flying. We start laying these cats out in there. So everybody else start running. So we fighting. Security trying to get everything situated. I'm swinging on dudes. And I look behind me. The main event picked up a mini motorcycle. <laughs> and opened up. The gas tank. <laughs> Stuck some tissue in there. <laughs> so I'm swinging like, yo, man, chill. So I chill. Me and Shane is telling me to chill. Like, no, move, move. I'm blowing some motherfucker. I'm blowing some <laughs> Yo, get out the way, huh? He, he, the, he losing it. So like, nah, chill. So he put it down. So Ayo, Prom, a couple other cats, they got pushed out through the entrance, through the front way. Me and me, Maine and Shane, we was up against the wall in the back, but there was an exit back there. So uh, we ended up getting back there. Security guard helped us get back there. So we got back there. And uh, as we walked through the hallway, we turned around and noticed that one of the guys that we was fighting with got stuck back there with us. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm walking ahead to go to the front because I'm trying to run to the front to get back to the entrance because I know AO and them's over there by themselves. So all I hear is, Hey, yo, half, he coming. Shane snuck the dude. He I turn around. He comes running from around the corner. Sleep, sleep, beep. <laughs> Done. <laughs> sleep. Right there to put him to sleep, right there in the hallway. <laughs> Run out. Run back around the front. I come outside. Hey, yo, standing. <laughs> hey, yo, standing in the middle of the street. So I look at him. I turn this way. It's about 15 dudes in the middle of the street coming to AO. So I go stand next to AO, like, yo, AO. Right now, we ain't got no wins, B. We got to get back to our dudes so we can hold it down. Half, I ain't running. 
Joe, we got to get out of here, B. We're going to lose. So Ayo looks down. He see a little metal rod. He picked up a metal rod. Half, I ain't running. All right, B. I guess we're going to go out on our sword right here because I ain't leaving. Let's do this. We took a step towards them. They backed up. I'm looking at you. How I'm looking at you right now, that's how I look at Ayo. They pussy. <laughs> We chased them back in the club. As they run in the club, they throwing bottles from the inside. Anybody that try to sneak out the entrance. Sleepy, you sleepy, <laughs> hey, you sleepy. <laughs> we knocking everybody out <laughs> that, run in the, that run out the club, B. <laughs> so, in the meantime, now, the young ladies we met, uh-huh. you know, they, we still wanted to hang out. Can't leave them. Still wanted to hang out. So the guy that was taking us around, he the, he he boated. He's sitting in a car like this. Low profile. He ain't, he ain't want no parts of it. So I was like, yo, come here, shorty. So I snatched up, told him to open the door. I, I'll be right back. <laughs> Ran back to the entrance, put a couple more dudes to sleep. Uh, next thing you know, somebody told us they called the cops. So we go across the street. There's a, there was a gas station across the street. We all go across the street, sit on the gas, uh, sit on the steps of the gas station, front like we the victims now. So we just sit <laughs> over there, we like this, <sighs> with the dead eyes and everything. Like, oh, yo, that was crazy, right? Because the cops was walking up, so we front like we talking to yo, that was crazy, man. I don't know what happened, man. <laughs> did you see what they did? Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> so the cops come over, like, hey, you know what's going on, man? It's like, yo, officers, man, I don't, I don't know what happened in there. These dudes just started bugging, so we had to defend ourselves. Y'all here for the best? Yo, the man won, guys. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh-huh, that, that's us. Yeah, that's us. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, y'all go on and get on out of here, man. We'll go over there and take care of that. <laughs> we was done, B. Yo, that's After crazy. party, though. Uh-huh. After the game and everything. After party, you know, we sitting up in VIP. So the way VIP was set up in this spot, you look directly in the entrance so you can see everybody that's coming in. Packed in there. Just told Raza the story the other day. We sitting in the VIP. So we looking. Group of dudes come in. It's the dudes we just fought the other night. So we all look at each other like, <laughs> What's going we about to again? smash these dudes in our own party. Let's get it in again. So we come right down out of VIP. Make a beeline straight for them. Walk through the crowd. They see us coming to them. They stop. We walk up to them. Like, yo, what's up? They was like, yo, man, we just, you know, we just want to apologize for what happened the other day. You know, we ain't, we ain't know who y'all was and everything. All right. Give us some fucking drinks, yo. <laughs> All night. Send them to the bar. Send them. Yo, go get us some drinks, B. <laughs> three? Y'all want three? Okay, all right. I'll be right back. All right. Go with them. Go, go get them. Get the help, man. <laughs> Send them all night, B. You're not lying. Funniest thing pussy, ever, yo. Bro. That's, That's crazy. tough. Funniest thing ever, B. That's crazy. That. That's tough. Yo, <laughs> that is crazy, man. I ain't about to buy you no drink. I, <laughs> hey, I might say my nigga my bad, but I ain't buying no drink. Nah, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't whip my ass, then you're going to send me to the bar to buy you some no, drink? No, sir. Well, that was crazy. When they said, you want some drink? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you at it? Keep it coming. All night. All night. Free drinks. All night. At your own party. Yep. God damn. They girls didn't come, right? Mm -hmm. They girls didn't come that night. I hope not. If they buying drinks, I know y'all took them too. Chill out, Viz. (laughs) (laughs) What are you talking about? Yo. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it was it was some unhappy campers that night. Man. <laughs> man, it was mad. Yo, that's crazy, man. One of one of the things I wanted to ask about is I know we spoke about the whole Vince Carter thing before, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, was there a real beef between the N one dudes and the NBA guys? Um, I wouldn't say there was necessarily a beef, but there was probably, uh, uh, how can I put it? A competitive hatred. Mm. I think I'll use it. It was probably a competitive hatred because at that time, you know, the saying went back then, 
you know, the the common fan would know more the and one players than the average NBA fan, the NBA player, mm-hmm. you know, back then. And it was kind of true. Yeah. You know, so with that getting out there, and I'm quite sure it got back to a lot of guys in the league, but we ain't, we ain't give a shit. Yeah. You know, so that probably hurt their ego a lot. So it probably wasn't, uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't hate us, but I'm quite sure they, you know, they competitive juices was heightened once they hear that, uh, you know, a couple, you know, dudes from the street is more popular than they are. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cause I, I mean, I, cause I heard too that, uh, you know, some 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 street ball guys think that you know if because most players started off playing in the park or started right. off playing, but you know if they made it to the league, kind of like their street ball credibility, it's kind of oh you're not a street ball dude no more. I mean I don't you know agree with that because they all because when you started playing ball, everybody's in your mind you wanted to get to the league. Now for whatever reason, everybody didn't make it. You know everybody couldn't make it, but you wanted to get to the league. And the question that we asked uh, Ao. And Shane, we said, hey, if you out on tour and an NBA team called you, like you out on tour, the Knicks call and say, hey, yo, Biggs, we got one, we got this roster spot open. What's up? We need you to come. What, what, how you playing that? How you, you know? Where you need me to be. <laughs> there you go. Out. I'm out. You out. It's not, it's not even a question. That's the ultimate goal then, anyway. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I would wish that for any of my dudes on yes. the team. Exactly. If well, I hit, man, I'll see you later. Go get that bag, man. I, I, I'll be right here when you get back. I ain't going nowhere. So, so if a dude, what if a dude came to you and said, yo, I don't want to lead this tour to go play in the league. You Knowing you, you'd probably be like, man, if you don't get your... Yeah, yeah I'll let them have it, but at the end of the day, I'd be it's, like, it's, that's your choice. Yeah. I'll yeah. let them have it, but hey, you do what you got to do for you. What makes you happy, man? You yeah. know, I can't live nobody else's life for them. That's true. That's true. That's but true. you will cuss his ass oh, out first. <laughs> yeah. I bet. <laughs> Definitely. You're going to feel it. Yeah. I was just thinking, bro, yo, David Stern would have kicked every dude out the league if they got into a brawl like that in another country, too. Think about how it was, bro. He was running a clean program back then. Mm -hmm. Hey, shit. Look at Malice of the Palace. Yeah. So, listen, that was was a one-off. You feel me? I feel you on that. You know? I mean, because at the end of the day, I mean, I'm sure you're an NBA player, man, but when you have fans throwing stuff at players. Oh, yeah. Bro, you, a man, you a man at the end the of the man, day. The man comes out in you, man. Bro, you what they did was 100% at the end of the day. So, yeah, they... You know, that professionalism sometimes goes out the window. You know, I got to let you realize what you did is messed up and you got to pay for it. But, you know, you know, ain't no consequences on the N one side. You feel me? What, yeah. What's all said? A little fine, something like that? Yo, a little fine? Yeah. Bro, it's a lot of consequences on the league side. Yeah. Some players... Yeah. But... Just because you can get away with stuff doesn't mean you should do it. Exactly. Right. Yep. You know, you gotta True. you gotta have self discipline. That's yeah. the OG right you there. Know. Yeah. Some yeah. some things you can't control. Some things that happen. Yeah. But if you purposefully out there doing silly shit, then you deserve whatever you get. True. You know? True. Yeah. So Yo, man, we had uh mixtape tour stories and somebody got something they want to get off their chest. I want to holler at this cat, man, that um, works on TNT. Facts. Facts. NBA show. Ooh, facts. His name is Kenny Smith. <laughs> Ooh, facts. All right, 2000, slam dunk contest. You made a mistake. Facts. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you must have thought you saw me in the slam dunk contest. <laughs> Because you called, you gave somebody, well, you tried to give somebody else my name. Mr. Smith, don't be mad because there were three other guys in the league that were named the Jet. Okay. Jason Terry was the other one. I'm trying to think of the other one right now, but I can't get it. There's only one half man, half amazing. Okay. When I got that name, Vince Carter was in junior high school. He's 40, I'm 50. Seniority. Understand something, Kenny. When, whenever, I keep saying this, but I will see you one day. And I want to see what you have to say to me to my face. Shots fired. For real. Ooh. He said. Shots 
Hey, yo, Kenny, Big, what up, bro? You going to gonna have to come solve this out. Hey. Shaq and Barkley, y'all got something to say, too. Y'all more than welcome, bro. What up? What up? We the new show now. We 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 the new show now. What up? <laughs> Y'all want that? Yeah, we want all that smoke. What was some of your favorite street ball moments? It could be a game you played in, a court you played at. It could be a player you played against. It could be a game you witnessed. You know, it could be a favorite tour stop on the tour. You know, what was some of your favorite street ball moments? Mm. One that comes to mind, you know, you talking about soul in the hole. Yep, yep, the hole. I remember um, I had a, it's going to be a big game. Was talking about it the week before, I was having a game against uh, Conrad McNasty. Ooh. God bless the day. But I had a game up, I had a game uptown. So I knew I was going to be late. So uh played the game uptown. Mousy drives us down to, uh, to soul in the hole. And uh, we get there, and you know how the crowd was at Soul in the Hole. For y'all that don't know about Soul in the Hole, Soul in the Hole is kind of like a, a, a marsh pit. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a sidewalk, but when you go in the park, it's like a lower level. So you're looking down. It's almost yep. like an arena, mm -hmm. you know? So while we pulling the while we hear, oh, oh, they, mad noise coming in the park. So in my mind, I'm like, Rad is going crazy right yeah. now. Dunking, <laughs> dunking on people. All in my mind. So, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We pull up, and you can see the rims from the sidewalk. Even if you're sitting in the car, rims is just shaking. <laughs> so I already knew Rad is sitting there this. blacking out. <laughs> <laughs> so I jump out the car, come running in the park. Yo, biz here. Biz here, yo. So yo, get biz your biz here. Put my uni on. Get in the game. Minute I get in the game, Rad posts me up. Spin move, Chris Webber alley -oop. Immediately, soon as I get in the game, just like that. All right, you hot. Next, next play down, I get the ball out, out of bounds. I go the full length of the court. Get through everybody. Took off from right inside the free throw line. Dude, smack my arm. Eee! Throw it down. It pops up. Go straight back down. And goes in. Get the and one. From there, it was on. It was over. Rad was dunking on me. I was dunking on Rad. He was blocking my shot. I was trying to block his shot, but you know, Rad is six nine, ain't the jump. Ain't yeah. the jump. And you if know what I mean? a lot of you youngsters different. look on uh, uh YouTube, yeah, he was McNasty, Conrad McCray, check it He's, out. He was different. He was different. <laughs> Ten feet and right in. Now. It's different, dog. He was a rat. Yeah, he was different. Different. And he was a character. <laughs> yes. And he was a character. Yes. Man. But man. That, yeah, that's that's one of the So that's one of your favorite matchups yeah, against that one. And uh I go to a, a Rucker game. Uh huh. When uh, we was playing with Mousy. Shout out to Mousy, Mousy's Shout dream out. Shout out Mousy. This is uh when Bad Boy first came up there, Puffy first put his team in there. And uh, you know, we were one of the favorite teams, me, Maine, had my man Wolverine, Kareem Reed, best kept secret. We had a nice crew. And uh, Puff went and got um Joe Smith. This is mm -hmm. the yeah, he got drafted, number one. Oh, okay. You know, right out of Maryland. Yep. Him and him and his partner, X Ray Hep, brought them both up. So this game was bananas. First play of the game. I almost bodied Joe Smith. First play of the game. Bounce pass. Joe Smith tried to jump, cocked it back, threw it down, but it popped out. That was that set the tone for the game right there. Mm -hmm. It was just gonna be bodies all over the place. If you ain't, if you, ain't <laughs> if you wasn't about it, watch the game. Yeah, yeah. Main event. I don't know what was on his mind. He bouncing it and trying to dunk it on cats in the game. Like I never, never seen a dude do what Maine used to try to do. And sometimes he got away with it. Joe Smith going up. My man Wolverine is tossed it out the park. You see how big. <laughs> Rucker Park. Yeah, yeah. My man Wolverine, he had a little lift to him. Joe Swift for the whole time, he caught it. Like, he caught it like he was trying to throw a touchdown. All the way out the park, hit the trees and everything. <laughs> game was crazy. End of the game, we was down, I think we was down one. Best kept secret got the ball. Jobs hard left, I think, on Joe and X-Ray Smith. Hits the game winner. 
Mm. We take him out. Next summer, guess who's playing with Bad Boy? He got rid of everybody else and brought Mousy's team, and we became Bad Boy. That's what Mossy started coaching bad. Boy. Okay, so that's how that happened. That's how. That how long happened. was that uh, run for? Uh, three years. We won. I think we won two chips. We played together. Me, Ron, Ron, a test. We had a nice crew, man. Word. Nice Damn. Crew. The palace in the palace. Yeah. 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 A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. You just. Yeah, yeah. B. Yeah. I got think bones out yeah. the closet with that guy. Yeah. And I think New York, New York <clears throat> City basketball is just different, man. You got to have heart, and that's why I say big up to those guys. You know, like Steph, AI, you know, uh, Kevin Durant. Those guys used to come because a lot of pros didn't want to come to play at Rucker, dog. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want to come play at Rucker, dog, because, you know, like I said, dudes is different. Like I, I seen, like I said, I seen Biz play, and he ain't backing down from nobody. I don't care you first round draft. I don't care about all that. Don't matter to me. You get between these lines, dude, it's going to be a war. And that's how New York is just different, man, where – you might go to another city and see NBA player play, and they backing off, and they, uh, nah, not here, dog. It's Jason, different... Jason Richardson came up there to play. Yeah. I think the year, either the year he won the slam dunk contest or the year after, he came up there to play. And I played against him that game. Wore him out. That's a different type of. He, he, didn't, he didn't realize, like you said, probably playing his hometown, playing a program game, but he not going hard. Because the other cats are like, yo, that's Jay Rich. Not here. Not here. We're like, oh, that's Jay Rich? Give you know, me that. Different inflections. Yeah. Oh, that's Jay Rich? Oh, all right, okay. I'll see him in a minute. Yeah. Dragged him up and down the court. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, I don't usually talk like that. Yeah. But Jay Rich got the business when he came up there that day. For real. We, we let him know that day, like, son, I don't, NBA or not, this is different. This is different, B. When you come to the hood. When you come to the hood. <laughs> things, <laughs> things change. Things, things change, change when you come to the hood. Yo, what other NBA players got dropped at Rucker? Uh, I worked Steph a couple of times. Marbury. I got at him a few times. Uh, Barry Davis used to come up there and work out. I missed the... Um, cold. I missed the uh, 66 point game from KD. I missed that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, he blacked out. Kobe did his thing <laughs> yeah. coming up there. Um, Jamal Crawford, my man. Put on yeah, Jay Crawford came up there and worked. Yep. My young bro, Jamal Tinsley. Oh, yeah. He, the abuser. The abuser. Oh, Lord. I, love I seen him crazy. shake one cat and dude dived into the scoreboard trying, <laughs> trying to steal it. Yo, it's ridiculous, yo. But what what NBA players came up there and stunk it up? Yeah, that's what I want. Mm, stunk it <laughs> up. <laughs> you know, I couldn't really tell you because the ones that stunk it up, you don't really remember. As far as I'm concerned, so I couldn't really tell you. But I'm quite sure there was a few. I re uh, Houston, remember, uh, not at Rucker, but Houston, the brawl. Ball for real tour? Yes. <laughs> Mike James crossed the dog shit out of me in the corner. Biz went for like, couldn't nobody stop Biz. He was hitting everything. Threes, off the glass. So next play down, Mike James, I think Mike James pushed. Push TJ, I think. I think, yeah, I think it was uh, 720, yeah. Out of nowhere, here come Biz. Yo, Biz, what you doing? What you doing, Biz? What you doing? Everybody, the whole stands, everything. But I say that to say this. Mike James, he could survive, I think, because he, he killed the ass that game. And Mike James, I had mm -hmm. to jump in on that one, but I totally agree with Biz. It's, you don't, you don't remember... The nice ones, I mean, the, the unsuccessful ones yeah. in the streets, but yeah. but the good ones you remember because yeah. they give you your props, you get theirs, but they probably hit our ass for like 50, 55. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. even know it, man. Yeah, because a, it's a, it's a, a lot of players can't play in that atmosphere, man. Mm -mm. They, they can't. Because can, them it's, fan at Rucker, at, at the at the home, and New York is like, different. Dude, you think Rucker was crazy? The whole back in the days, dog? Dog. 
the I fans, knew you, the fans right there on your you, knees. You consider yourself having heart if you were just able to walk in the park. That's how crazy the hole was, B. Dude, I remember the hole playing like at that. Rucker, but not, I was young. So I went up there with Sauce and them, play, get in, and I'd get out. I remember playing at 145th. Tri State. Tri State. That was tough. Real good game. God bless the day. Uh, played against Strick. Strick gave me my stripes that game. Baby right. Pants. Yeah, it was a <laughs> real good game that game. That's A.O. hit the game winner that game. Yeah, that was our game. That was our game. Yeah. A.O. hit the game. Yeah, A.O. hit the game winner that mm-hmm. game. But that, it was some tough basketball being played there. Yeah. I earned my stripes, though. God rest the day. I gave yeah. Strick you, work that day. You and T.J. We did Earned good that, we, that day. We did we did good that day. Yeah. God rest the day, Strick. A- and AO, AO blacked out. Yeah, that man. AO went berserk that game. Yeah, man. Wow. That's dope, man. That's dope. That's a lot of memories, man. So like we was talking about too on tour. You guys really changed the culture of the whole, you know, street ball. And like I say, and one used to own the summer. When y'all pulled up with that bus and pulled up in the hood with that bus, and y'all really Changed not only the basketball culture, but we was talking about how even fashion wise, you know, with the with the sneakers and the headbands and the wristbands and how y'all used to wear y'all stuff yeah. and you had all the kids doing it. So we just like, you know, asking, you know, what was your favorite pair of sneakers out on tour? Your favorite N one sneakers mm. that you wore on tour? My favorite pairs would probably have to be the Thai Cheese. What? Wow. Finally. Somebody what? finally said that. Finally. Jeez. Wow. That's my Shit, guy. hurt my yeah, feet, bro. Wow. Everybody picked the chosen one. Everybody was saying the chosen one. Nah, too. those ones. I could play in those. I like playing in them. Shane wow. liked them shit. But just sauce. Wearing purposes. And hey, yo. Yeah, Thai cheese was the ones. I keep yeah. telling you. Yo, yo, we need a, we need a, a, o, a OG, half man, half amazing. Uh, tai Chi, bro. That would be fire. We got to talk business. Hell man. yeah. Tell them, biz. That would be fire. Nice. You got we got to talk business you on you that You still one, waiting man. on your shit. A P-E. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Where, where was the ones with uh, that had all our names on it? Get them, biz. Dave? Where are they, Dave? Get them, biz. Fucking Dave. But that would be dope, dude. I think we got to talk about that. We do. I had to find out. I had to find out through the major. grapevine that they was in production. An OG like half right now? half major? No, you're talking about the old, uh, the mixtape art one. The ones that had all our names. They had, they had they, yeah. the mixtape art one. Yeah. Get his ass biz. I didn't, dun, dun, get, dun, I, dun. I didn't get the word on that. So. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Right Last now. I checked, said, right, I'm, I'm, get the word right, right, I checked, I'm still alive, right? Yeah, you, right. You, listen, right now, man, we trying, to, we trying to work through it and right the wrongs, man. That's, that's why it. we trying to bring everybody... You know, give them give them their flowers, and we're really trying to work with guys, and we're really trying to make some stuff happen now. So good. I think that'll be so dope. A half man, half amazing Tai Chi. Tai Chi? Yeah. I like that Absolutely. Idea. We're going to have to try to make that happen. I think that'll be Here, here. <laughs> here, here. I think that'll be so fire, dude. I we like gotta it. talk about that. We gotta yeah, talk that about that. That supply chain gotta... fucked up right now, but we can definitely talk about that. I think yes, we dope. can. <laughs> I think that'll be that'll dope. Be dope, man. So. Yo. The, That's the, the 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 one big question that we was asking everybody is a lot of guys throwing this legend title around. Ooh, thank you. Okay. Yes, Lord. Okay. A lot of guys he could wait throwing this get. throwing this legends title around and the, the 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 things that me, Dave, Rise that we talked about is what makes a legend? It, it, what what's the criteria? Do you got to have, is it chips? Is it this? Is he dominating different parts, different it? cities? But guys throw this around loosely that they are legends. So all, all, all those things you said do encompass what a legend is. But for me, what, what encompasses being called a legend is, first of all, being a hell of a ball player. Facts. Being known for something, being consistent at it, and always looking to get better. Never backing down from a challenge, win or lose. Facts. Wherever the challenge is, you're going to be there. Win or lose. And just let everybody know it's a new sheriff in town. But the basis is consistency. Mm -hmm. Because I'm 50 now, so I've I've been playing for 36 years. I've been playing ball for 36 years. So... If I was to put my resume down, 
the consistent thing about me that could always be said is I was a hard worker. Yep. Always worked hard on the court. Yep. So that in itself would make me a kind of a legend because of my history of work. Oh, no, 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 my brother. You ain't no kind of a legend. You, you are, are a legend. legend. Bonafide. <laughs> you are the one. We don't want to hear I appreciate it. that, but that's that's not for me to say. I can't call there myself a legend. I say it, I say it for we you, We say it for you right here. And I appreciate that. Yes. You always came on tour in shape. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you always came on tour in shape. Like, you know me. I used to get it in, Ben. Mm -hmm. You were in better shape than Spider. That was that was a priority for me, yep. because uh, for most of my career, I, I played out of position for mm -hmm. most of my career. Yep, you know what I'm saying. I'm 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 tall. You should have been the, a guard, the, right? I'm you tall, guard, but in, in the basketball world, I'm average height. You a guard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Six six, one eighty, one eighty five. With you on my back, you know perfect, what I'm perfect <laughs> playing weight. Yeah, but you know, but I'm playing power forward, center. Yep, mm -hmm. small forward sometimes. So a lot of the guys I played against, bigger than me, stronger than me. But one thing you're not going to do is outwork me. You know? Right. You're not going to outhustle me. Right. You know, I'm going to run you up and down. It's cool. my, I may, had to make sure my cardio was crazy. Because if we're going to bang, if I'm going to bang with a guy that's 20, 25 pounds heavier than me, I got to make sure my cardio is right by the time the end of the game. You're not tired. Get still get that you shot off. I can still get that last rebound. Yep. What, whatever it got to be. You know, that that was my mindset. So how did you stay in shape back then? Like, what was you doing? Because they don't have all the stuff they got now, you know. I was I was doing the simple stuff. Cardio, bike riding, you know, lifting, running, playing as much as I could. You know, simple things. I wasn't really getting into no complex res regimen or nothing like that. I just did what worked for me. And you took it serious. And I took it seriously. Some people do that, but they don't take it serious. It's a, def it's a different type of level when you're trying to see results with that. You feel me? Yeah, you know. You know, my wife back in the day, she used to she used to get mad at me because I was playing so much ball. But she didn't she didn't really understand why. She, mm -hmm. she never really understood why. She later on she did, but at the time she was just like, why are you always playing ball? You got a game here, you got a game here. On Saturdays, you play two, three games, Sunday you play two games. It's what I do, it's what I love. How long you been married? Uh we're separated now, but um been married now. It'll be twenty Two years. We've been separated for the last eight. No doubt. You know, we still close though. No doubt. No, and I remember uh, when you yeah. played, I remember your wife every yeah. game. Every way. Yeah. Front row. Yeah. Yeah, she screaming didn't play. at screaming at the refs, screaming yeah. at anybody that needs screaming. Yeah, she was yeah, screaming right. at them. Yeah, they was always together, bro. <laughs> she I got, was, I got she a story about her and tour. Skip when we was out in uh Cali. Uh-huh. And when uh Skip bust my head open and uh in, in that, that mixtape game out. Yeah. Uh -huh. I remember that. She came out there in that court. She's ready to stab Skip. <laughs> she was shame with five two, uh -huh. little little trim daddy in fire. <laughs> don't 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 mess with me, man. Cause if you look over my shoulder, down behind me, she down there pulling out that shank, <laughs> <laughs> waiting to jump out from behind me and slice you. You know she went up to uh. She asked another funny story about her. She actually went up to Toronto. One of my boys was working out for Toronto. This was some years back when Vince was up there. And uh, she had an uncle. She has an uncle that lives in Canada. So she was going to see him. So I told my man she was coming up there, you know, let her come to training camp, come hang out for a little while. Lajuan and Oakley and them. And uh, the Davis brothers was up there. They All of them was up there. And uh, Vince Carter didn't. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Vince Carter didn't really work out with the rest of the team. Because uh, Anthony Davis and Dale Davis used to wear him out, Ooh. and you know Vince, yeah. you know Vince, you know word was Vince was kind of soft. Yeah, yeah. That's so they didn't really let him work out too much. So he I would work out on the other side by himself. So uh, Carla comes in, she see my boy, and she see Vince on the other side shooting around. She walks right on the court, walks right over to Vince. Let me tell you something. You ain't half man, half amazing. <laughs> My husband is half man, half amazing. I just wanted to tell you that. She turned around and walked off. <laughs> Left my man Vince stuck like that. <laughs> My boy called me, said, yo, man, tell you what your wife did. I said, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> wow. I believe it. So, yeah, you know, she had my back. So, shout that's out to Carla. That's, that's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope, man. That's dope, man. Yeah, so, I mean... uh, 
we talked about legends. Do you think there's any street ball icons, you know, that's above that legend status? That's mm. yeah, I would say um, Sweet Pea is one of them. Ooh, see, a lot of people don't know about Sweet Pea. Yeah, six eight guard beast shoot from the other Ooh. free throw line. Yeah, word is a name new for me. Oh, you. Oh, you got, he's young, man, so. A game new for me, 90s day. You don't know about Sweet Pea, man. Oh, know. man. Yeah. One of, of, of our era. 29. Yeah. He was nice. 6 eight guard. Smooth. Smooth. Yeah. yeah. Smooth. But he come walking, he come walking in the park, you would laugh, because you looking at this, you know, he, he come walking. <laughs> Sweet, he come walking. Who this dumpy, yeah. offbeat dude? Yeah. When he get on the court, he was a maestro, B. Yeah. Gave the business. Maestro. Yeah. Yeah. He cut two, control, three dribbles. Yeah. Once you get it off out the, off, uh, off the baseline, two, three dribbles, he letting it go. Yeah. He played Number for net. He played for the Spurs for a little while. Oh, word. Shout out the Spurs. But I seen him And this play. is when he was done. Yeah, he was done, man. He was. He played with the Spurs. Yeah. I seen him come to uh, Marine Park in Brooklyn in, in jeans and Levi's and give him the business. That's and how you know jeans. a nigga got work. That's di- that, that, yeah, he's different. I was like, <laughs> yo, yo. It, it's it, always it, it, a nigga at the court with jeans on yeah. and still jeans giving on. niggas the work, yeah, bro. Giving them Difference, business, man. dude. He was for real. Yeah. He was for real. Yeah. You yeah. know? So, pro- probably um, Joe Hammond. Go. The Destroyer. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we want you. We want you to name top 10. Yeah, top, top ten, ten, top ten, street balls of all time. It could be, it could be two top tens lists or one because we want to do your Before era, your era, mm. your era, and probably stop at ours. Like farm, fest, mm. all right. rising. That was the last little bit. Yeah, you could, you could throw me in there. You could throw me. Got in to. There. Raza got thrown in there. Uh, sauce, sauce put me sauce, on. Sauce put him top what eight. Top 10. Yeah, but you put him eight. Oh, yeah, eight. I, 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 I give you what and, I can. And street ball. Um, old school, I'll go, uh, like I said, Sweet Pea, Destroyer, Earl Manny Goat. Uh, I'll go Richie Adams. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the Shane. Animal. Yep, Shane yep. said that. Um. Cause I, you know, back then when I was still coming up, my basketball knowledge wasn't that great. I was just out there balling. I didn't know who was who until I found out later. Um, let me see who else. I got to go with my man, who to me is the best point guard I ever played with. You know, and and uh, even though he's uh, from our era. Booger Smith. Yeah, they yep. said Shane he was said on everybody that. list, right? Yeah, yeah, he was on everybody's. He was, yeah. on everybody's he was list. magic with the ball. I will say this, and I say it all the time. He's one of the main reasons why I was able to develop a reputation. Because back then, all Boogs wanted to do was dime you. He wasn't a big scorer, wasn't a good shooter, but he was illest passer. The angles this cat used to pass the ball was crazy. We would fight for the rebound and get the ball to him and literally push each other out the way to get in the fast break lanes <laughs> because we knew Bulls was going to pass the ball. Yeah. And we wanted to get it. Whoever got down that court fast and got the right passing angle was going to get the ball. Mm. And Bulls helped me, man. That cat was different with the rock, yep. man. Yep. He on everybody Real. list. He's definitely on the universal list. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Who else? Uh, let me see. This cat, man, God bless the dead, my little bro, Black Widow. Mm. Yeah, Al? Al. Yeah. You know, I seen a lot of, like, we were just talking about Sweet Pea at, you know, 6'8". But Al's handle at 6'8". Yeah. Yep. Was like a 5'8 guard. He had a string on that thing. And I mean, it wasn't even low. He had it all the way up yep. here. Yep. And you still couldn't take it from him. 6'8 point guard. Al, Al was different, man. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Back then, that's yeah, crazy. He was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God bless him, man. He he passed away the day after we actually had a game, too. Well, not not passed away, but he ended up in the hospital. We was playing with the Magic Masters upstate. And we just came back down to the Bronx. We was talking about seeing each other the following week. A couple of days later, 
op calls me, yo, from Allen Hospital. What you talking about? We just got finished killing some dudes. Yeah. Up in New Hampshire the other day. What you mean? Then Shane calls me. Maine called me. Something ain't right. Then we start seeing all the posts on Facebook. I'm like, oh, man, it's just crazy, B. It was just how it happened to Al. It was just so sudden, be out of yeah, nowhere. out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Word. And uh, I'll say, Shane, man. Oh. Shane was probably in my top three in terms of pure point guards. Mm-hmm. Point guard. Shane is up there, man. Books would dime you with different types of passes, but I never seen nobody throw alley oops like Shane. Yeah. Mm. Never seen nobody throw alley oops like Shane. He get it like once again off the baseline. You better be running already because he sees you, even though yeah. he ain't looking at you. Yeah, he gonna get it to you because with his IQ, he already knows you supposed to be running that lane because you know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So he, he would get the ball. Full and court. As soon as he turned around, without even looking, he's throwing it. And that was the chemistry him and Maine had. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. it was incredible. He was ridiculous, yo. I never seen. That's probably, in terms of street ball, the best one two punch I've ever seen. Mm. That's Shane the second Maine. time we heard guys, that. Man. Yep. I, I never, see, I never saw anything like it. Yeah. Never saw anything like it, B. And I was glad I was able to be part of it for a little while. Word. Word. Shout out to Jersey, bro. That's yeah. dope. You got anybody else on that list? Um, I had to give a shout out to some of my big homies down in Brooklyn. You know, mm-hmm. all all the Curry brothers. Excuse me, I said Curry. I'm thinking about some food right now. The Scurry brothers. That's a, I was oh, most Mo Scurry, <laughs> Mo Scurry, the Duncan, the original Duncan dummy. His brother Paul Scurry, Carrie, who actually played in the NBA for a little while. Yep. You know, those those my big bros. They taught me a lot. You remember mm-hmm. Moses Curry from uh, UNLV? UNLV. Where? Played at UNLV. My man, every time he dunked, he used to scream for yeah. no reason. Wouldn't be nobody under the rim. He ain't uh. dunking on nobody. He just, <laughs> he just yelling. <laughs> what? That's funny. Now he the king of Vegas now. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's, that's, that's about it for now. Yeah. I used to like the uh, the Jones brothers. Oh. CJ and them, CJ and them was crazy. Our Kenny, our Kenny King's days was. That's right. Beat. You you played with Kenny King's too, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Yeah, I was with Kenny King's too. <sighs> yeah. Bitch, you the down goat, there. nigga. I mean, I just, wherever it was, man. Facts. Because because I started playing basketball late. Yeah, so I had, you had to catch up. Yeah, you know. So wherever it was, I wanted to be there. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. Wherever it was, I wanted to be there. Cat yeah. called me. All right, I'll be there. Yeah. You know, and that's how, back in those days, that's how you get notoriety. You go, yeah. to, you go to a park and you kill somebody on the side might be watching you. They come up to you, son, I got a team over here in this park. Why don't you come play with me over here? You go to that park and kill. Somebody see you in that park. Yo, come me over here, son. I got this park over here. I got this team over here. And now you, you're going everywhere. And like I said, now I got a game every day now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and that's how it went, B. Back in those days, man, when you developed a rep, it's even harder to keep it. Yeah. Because once you get that rat, rep, they coming at you. They coming for you. Coming at you. Why'd you I say didn't... you started uh, playing basketball late? Because uh, I wanted to be a baseball player. Word. Wow. Yeah. I started, I, I was playing Little League Baseball right across the street in Tonkas Park. And, Just as uh, much as basketball? <clears throat> well, I wasn't even thinking about basketball when I was playing uh, baseball. You know, I, I would play with my friends. You know, I went out of the park and played, but back then, I was just playing ball. I yeah. didn't want to be a ball player. Yeah. There's a difference between yeah. just playing ball and being a ball player. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? So I would go to the park and play with them, but didn't really do nothing for me. I wanted to be a pitcher, play center field, uh, do things like that. But I started getting tall, you know, grew out of the uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> Me and, me and my cousin was walking by 256 Park one day, and uh, my big bro, Prentice, shout out to Prentice, he the one that brought the love out of me for basketball. He saw us walking past the park, and he's like, yo, y'all play ball? I'm like, nah, not really. Come to the park. This is where I met Scurry Brothers and Artie Moe and 
Big Russ and and Big Ernie, all my big bros now, you know, yep. got out there. And, you know, I wasn't really good, but I was always athletic. So I could run up and down the court. But these dudes is rib shots, grabbing me, tearing my shirt. I'm going home with a bloody nose. <laughs> I'm ready to go get the hammer and come back in the park. <laughs> but I'm back the next day. Every day. I'm coming back. I'm coming right back. And they saw that in me. So every day I came back, they beat me up more and more. And you know, in the park, you make your own calls. Yeah. I never called. You know, they would grab me, trip me. Like I said, rip my shirt, all that. I never called in the park. Yeah. Never made a call. You know, and that that's what they saw in me. And, and that's what made me tough. That's how I earned my bones. Yeah. Man, well, you the dope. GOAT, man. That's dope. Do Say you, it again, bro. Do, do, GOAT. Do you ever think that magic y'all created with N1, that when y'all used to own the summer, that energy, that when you pull up in that bus and people just go crazy, do you ever think that could be recreated? No, sir. Thank you. That was lightning in the bottle, B. Yeah, yeah. It never happened again. Never. Too much this. Yeah. People, people are trying to duplicate it, but it's not. It's not the same. No, it's not. It's never going to be the same. the same. It's never going to be the same. It's, it's. We had the right blended dudes. We had the right personalities. The chemistry was there, whether yep. it was on camera or off camera, yep. you know, and we all had the skills. Everybody on the team, at our height, we had, I think we had 22 guys mm -hmm. at our height. Mm -hmm. Everybody brought something different to the table. Yep. Nobody was the same. Mm -hmm. And you can't say that about a 12-man roster. You can't say that about the NBA roster. You yep. got duplicates on a lot of teams. I only playing yep. eight. Our eight. team, everybody was different. Yeah. Yep. That was it. Yeah. So talk about the chemistry on on camera versus off camera. What was like, was there ever a difference? Like, was people ever different on camera versus off camera? Like, what was that like? Um, yeah, I would say, yeah. Because, you know, we had our differences. Yeah. You know, I'd be, I'd be lying to you if I said we didn't. You know, 22 guys on the road, any given moment, you know, something's going to happen. So, you know, we all had our differences. But... When uh, it was time to get on that court, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, and we had to keep it that way. But, you know, we get back behind stage or back in the hotel room, whoever got issues with each other, yeah. handle it how y'all going to handle it. Yep. 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 But we got we got some ass to crack tomorrow. Yeah. Do what y'all got to do, I'll see you tomorrow. So as grown men, you got to handle your own situations. And yeah. everybody out here... I'm assuming is a grown man. Yeah. Take care of your business and let's be professional when it's time to be professional. Yeah. That's it. Tell that to these kids out here that be wilding and gun violence, doing all that shit, bro. Listen, man. Bro, that's all you need right here. That's it, B. Live the fight another day. Yeah. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking a loss. Right. You know, I'm taking many losses. I got my ass whooped plenty of times with fights, but I was all able to go home. I was yeah. going to be able to get up tomorrow and do whatever. Yeah. You know, perfect example, friend of mine's back in the day on the block. Um, I'm in 256 Park. His little brother's in the park. So uh, he's messing around with He wants a slap box. So I slap him up a little bit. He tells me, yeah, I'm going to go tell my brother. Now his brother, my man Jay, this dude is the original caveman, yo. <laughs> Back looked like he just walk around with a fur coat all year <laughs> round. <laughs> Crazy. But don't mess with him because he knock you out. Love to fight. So he's, go tell my brother. Man, man, go tell your brother. I don't care. So I had a game at LG and Marcy that day. I had two mm -hmm. games. Get back on the block. My man Jay is sitting on the factory where we was playing ball at next to my, uh, my girl building at the time. So I'm walking my, my young bro, my girl, little brother, I'm walking him down the block because he was with me all day. I'm taking him home. So my man Jay is sitting on the factory drinking Crazy Horse. Oh. Now, for those of y'all that don't know about Crazy Horse, it's different. <laughs> it's like once you drink Crazy Horse, it just wants you to fight anybody you see, <laughs> no matter who it is. So we're drinking a Crazy Horse. So I look, I see him. What up, B? It's like, yo, what's up, Biz? What's going on, man? Y'all heard what happened with my brother today? 
It's like, yeah, man, he was in the park messing around, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, he, he told me that you wanted to fight me. I said, nah, I didn't say that. So he said, you going to tell me you, you wanted to fight me? And I said, just go ahead. He was like, oh, all right, I just wanted to make sure, you know. But you still want to fight? <laughs> What's up, though? I said, you serious? He was like, yeah. <sighs> so I get my little bro my bag. I'm like, hold this, man. So now he goes in the house. He tell my girl we about to fight. Rumor gets through all the bills. Everybody opening their windows <laughs> now. Everybody. Is <laughs> Jay about to fight? So me and my man lock up. We fight for a couple of minutes. My point to the story is we both was able to go home that night. Yep. Yep. You know? And the very next day I come to, and after the fight, he tells me, yo, every time you come down the block from here on in, we're going to fight. I said, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You know, went down a block. The very next day, I see him. He's sitting down there all tight. Somebody stole his car. Uh -huh. So he's sitting down there tight. So, you know, I didn't want to approach him because I didn't want to wild out. So they, my man said, like, yo, somebody stole his car. So I walk over to him. I'm like, yo, sir, somebody stole your car. He's like, yeah. Let's go find it. So he looked up at me. He was like, what? Yeah, come on, B. Yesterday was yesterday. If you want to come back on the block after we find a car and fight, we can do it again. <laughs> but right now, let's go find your car. Yeah. And we found his car that night. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. But, That's you know, dope. live the fight another day, man. Yeah. You ain't got to put nobody in the ground to prove nothing. Either you can fight or you can't. Yeah. And if you right. can't, go learn. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's it. Come yeah. on, man. Don't be scared to get your ass wet. And most people know you from basketball, but a lot of people didn't know that you were a teacher. Mm. Yeah. Word? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Board of Ed certified teacher. <laughs> he was a teacher, dude. That's what for I'm sure. saying. A lot of people don't know that. Everybody mm -hmm. know him for basketball. He yep. was a teacher, man. Bro. Yeah. Let him a, know, man. Let him know. Yeah, I was an educator for the uh, New York City Department of Education for about 11, 12 years. Yes, sir. Actually, while I was playing with Ann one, too. Sure. Yes, sir. You know, we come home off tour and I go right back to work. You know, my, my principal. Uh, yes, sir. A lot of people don't know that. That's, that's, a lot of that's people don't dope, know man. that. That's beautiful, bro. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, like, man. We need more brothers like you, dog. Appreciate that, There's man. too much wildness out here, man. Yeah, these, these kids got to understand, man, there's something out there bigger than yourself. Yeah. You know, you yeah. don't have to be on IG all day or yeah. TikTok yeah. video and yourself doing something stupid just so people you probably never going to meet are like you. That shit going to ruin the world, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. But... Here, man, what we like to do, you know, a lot of people, they want to give, they want to give the OGs, you know, they say give them their flowers. But we want to give, we give a stamp here. You know, you've already been stamped as a legend anyway to us. You're a legend Absolutely. to us, but that's why, you know, we are bringing guys back, you know, we, you know, really getting to know their stories, getting to know them. We want to get them back involved in what you guys really built. Mm. Right, you know, uh, whether That's it's a, a whether it's a new iteration of the the tour, you know, with you guys involved and going out finding them new guys and getting more involved with the brand. That's what we gonna try to do, and that's why we trying to bring this together, right. you know, and, and really get guys back involved in this. But today, again, we want to give you your stamp. Yeah, man, your stamp, man. You you a certified legend. legend Thank you know, for that. I appreciate in, in, that, man. In our eyes, man, and. And uh, you brought more to the table just in basketball. You know, like I said, a lot of people didn't know that he was a teacher. You know, and this is things that... And another thing, not to cut you off, no. a lot of people don't even know that I played professional overseas. Yeah. Where, 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 where? What country? You know, I played two years in Uruguay, and I won a championship down there. I played in Finland, and I did uh, two stints in Dominican Republic. Bro, that's... A lot of people ain't know that. The GOAT. You, well, you, you know... Biz, you my big brother. I love you, man. And uh, a big reason to what I do today, like I'm a regional for, for a store, man. And I remember you telling me a long time ago, for three stores, and I remember you telling me a long time ago, he'll rise, them legs ain't going to be like that forever, B. Mm. Find a trade and do something. Work out, playing your little games, but continue to do what you're doing, man. And I just appreciate you, man. I love you. We love you. I just appreciate back, everything you life, did for man. the Always. for the culture, man. It's beautiful, man. Thank, Thank you, bro. Yes, sir. There's yes, no sir. and one without you, dog. No and one without all y'all. And like, it, 
if, if you want to talk about, you know, what you're doing right now, if you got anything you want to talk about, you know, that you want to push, what What's you want to, yeah, you know, what, anything you're working on that you want um, people to know about, you know? a couple of things, you know, over the past few years, I was, you know, I was doing some basketball training, but, you know, the pandemic kind of shut that down. I was uh, doing some part-time acting, too. Shout oh, out to right. Susan Torres and Slam Dunk Bookings. Okay. Free okay. plug right there. Free plug. Okay. Talent. Yeah, you know, I okay. did that. Did a couple of commercials. I was in, you know, some bit spots and some movies and things like that. Um, Dope. I still like to go out and talk to the kids whenever I get a chance. You know, um, and uh, trying to start a... This is just me right here. Shout out to my man, Scott. That's my logo artist. He did this. Dope. Oh. We're going to try to start a t-shirt line. Okay. You know, with him and... Uh, okay. My boy D Bugs and Octane and myself, like we were um, going to get together and we're going to try to start a little training program ourselves too. Shout out to Oc, so, man. Yeah, shout to my little bro Oc. So well, you know, I got a, I got a few <laughs> things on. <laughs> That's like, uh, Oc yeah, just like that, <laughs> just like that. That's but, dope, man. That's so, yeah, dope. You know, man. we got we got a few things, a few things storing right now. Blacktop Streetball Association. Yes, sir. You know, we got a lot of things in the works, man. So hopefully, you know, a lot of stuff will come to fruition over the next, you know, year or so. That's dope, man. That's dope. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. We have you again, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.